I've got a tough one for you today. Who's the most classic short bodybuilder? So we're talking about under 5'4", five, 5'3". Five, so let's kick this off with one of my all-time favorite bodybuilders, Jean Marquis. This guy was absolutely astonishing. Um, I first saw him at the Australian Universe and uh, I was really shocked at his vacuum. Look, you can see it there. Just um, a fantastic shape, amazing abs, and uh, great separation as well. And he poses a real finesse. He might lose a few points with a mullet, but hey, it was the 80s, so I'll cut him some slack. Especially since I had one as well back in the day. Next up, we have Mohamed Makawai. Now, this guy was a brilliant poser, and not only that, he was trained by Vince Gironda. You can tell just by looking at him, you know, he's, um, he's got that really awesome X frame, keeping his hips and waist small, and um, very wide for a small guy. Um, apologies for the background. That, that is one of the worst backgrounds I've ever seen in a bodybuilding competition. Absolutely shocking. Give me a black background any day. But uh, you can see there, look, look how he holds the poses and, and transitions from pose to pose perfectly. And um, his stance is immaculate. He, he has to be one of the top contenders, I reckon. Now, what can you say about this guy, Lee Labrada? Now, in this competition, this, this footage is from 1989. I think he should have won. I reckon he could have taken Haney that year. I don't know what happened. Haney wasn't at his best. Labrada certainly was. Have you ever seen such posing? This guy is a posing master. If you're a young guy just starting out in bodybuilding, you really need to check out some YouTube footage of this guy and, and learn from one of the greats. Uh, perfect balance. Uh, everything from his skin tone and presentation right down to his transitions, posing and professionalism. This guy had it all. Um, I think he, he could actually take it today. Perfect balance as well from years of doing Taekwondo. This next fella is Mohammed Benaziza. Um, unfortunately, he passed away, quite sadly. In um, he overdid his preparations for a bodybuilding comp. Uh, they reckon it was diuretics that um, contributed to it. But um, look, his back was absolutely sensational. I'm not a big fan of his core. Um, look, he, he he has amazing abs when flexed. When relaxed, it, there is a bit of protrusion, and uh, there are those with better shape. Not. Not my pick, but hey, you might be a big Benaziza fan and by all means vote for him. Now Danny Padilla or Padilla is going to be really hard to beat. Here he is in his 1981 footage. Um, unbelievable that he got beaten here. He was more screwed than Sean Ray at an after party at the Olympia. He was ripped, shredded, cheekbones you could light a match off. He came ready and he was absolutely ripped off. Um, should have been first place or at very least second. Here's some other footage of him from an earlier competition, not quite as ripped, but you can see the amazing proportions and shape of Danny. Now the next guy needs no introduction. I'm sure you've seen him pumping iron and countless other videos. Franco, uh, big, Thick physique, massive split pecs. Again, um, I think there's others that do have a better shape than him, um, particularly in the legs. Uh, he's, he's a little bit on the blocky side, but um, you can't doubt his power. He looks like he could smash through a brick wall. And uh, the way he'd blow up hot water bottles and, and compete against much bigger men in the strongman competition, he really is quite inspirational. Now, when I was growing up in Australia, this guy was the man, Lee Priest. This is his first ever professional competition. Very, very young age at 21. Look at that, how the hell can anyone look like that at 21? Perfect balance, great posing, just awesome there. Um, I actually think he looks better here than when he got bigger. You may disagree, but after all, we are talking about who's the most classic. This channel is all about aesthetics and, and um, keeping it classic, so uh, I chose to show his earlier footage. I think he actually looks at his best here. Just astonishing lat spread, everything is balanced. 
His posing is great. Looks sensational. He's going to be hard to beat in this one. I'd, I'd probably vote for him actually, or Lebrado. And finally, Terry Pastel, five foot two, but man, he looks like a, a mini Serge Nubre. He's got an insane vacuum, presents himself really well, and uh, I, I just really like his physique. Loses a little bit of something in the genetic shape of his chest, in my opinion, but everything, look at his hands there. Absolutely ripped the ribbons there. Unbelievable, thick. He was a great bodybuilder. So, who's your pick? I know who mine is now. Uh, let's hear from you in the comments, and thanks for watching.